We live in a time in which all the planet's ecosystems have been modified by human activity. The land where we walk, the air we breathe, the water we drink, contain particles that are the product of human actions. Carbon dioxide and BPA are invisible to the human eye but can have an impact in our health or in the environment. There has never been such a great distance between the reality of a place and its appearance. The air can carry pollutant uh, nanoparticles that produce cancer and still look clear. The ocean may look pristine but be filled with microplastics. Speculative fiction is a narrative mode that includes science fiction, horror and fantastic literature and is very well prepared to talk about invisible beings and threats. Writers have imagined tiny um, creatures, microscopic kingdoms and little spheres that contain the universe. In Latin America in recent years there have been books written in the speculative mode that deal with dangerous and invisible particles. One of them is Samantha Schweblin's Fever Dream and the other one is Veronica Gerber's The Company. I became interested in the issue of nuclear energy because it's part of the discussion about the way in, we, in which we envision our future. Climate, uh, the climate crisis has shown us that we cannot keep depending on fossil fuels and we must move to other types of energy. Nuclear energy is a low carbon type of energy that is based on the very small atoms colliding with each other. However, it poses risks. Radioactive waste can stay in the environment and contaminate it for hundreds of years. In Latin America, there are seven nuclear plants and Bolivia is planning to build a new one. There are benefits to the project. For instance, the Bolivian government wants to use the plant to find treatment for cancer. But on the other hand, there are problematic aspects to uh, the project. Like the fact that the nuclear plant will be built close to the indigenous city of El Alto, where many people are poor. In order to convince the population about the benefits of the nuclear plant, the Bolivian government created an animated superhero called Atomito, uh, which translates as little atom, a cheerful boy uh, who explains how the plant will work. The happy face of Atomito and the possibility of having complications with the nuclear plant inspired me to write a book of short stories written in the speculative mode uh, that deals with the issue of toxic waste and with the problematic fact that it is usually the poor and indigenous communities the ones who receive toxic waste in their lands. I was also inspired by the radiological accident in Goiania, Brazil in 1987, in which two scrap collectors entered an abandoned building and dismantled medical equipment that treated cancer, releasing radioactive particles. Science has been able to create wonderful things and very small things like microchips, but is also responsible for dangerous particles. The distance between the harmless uh, appearance of an object or a place and its secret and sometimes threatening reality is a feature of speculative fiction and one that has become increasingly relevant to talk about the present.